Welcome everybody to this video. In this video, we're gonna set up some Christmas ornaments. These Christmas ornaments are available on Omtech's website, so please see the description down below to go ahead and download those. So the first thing you wanna do after downloading is open that file up in Lightburn. Once you have that file opened up, uh, let's just make sure we have everything set up correctly. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure that your engraving settings are gonna go first, and then you wanna make sure that's followed by your cut settings. For the cut settings, I am doing 12 millimeters a second at 45% power. The engraving settings, I am doing at 150 millimeters a second at 20% power. So once you have those settings in place, let's load the material up and then we'll get this started cutting. Now that the material is in place, it's time to arrange the designs onto the piece of wood. Um, you know, if you have a camera, go ahead and just capture the image and place it where you need to. Um, this is arranged to fit pretty much on any piece of wood. So uh, whatever you're working with, this should be fine. And if you need to, you could always break up the ornaments uh, to fit on some scrap material if you'd like. So now that it's arranged, let's go ahead and get started on the cutting. Now that everything's all done cutting and engraving, uh, we're gonna carefully remove this from machine um, and just make sure everything lines up before we get it prepped for painting. So once you have it outside of your machine, um, it's best to kind of get started with arranging it first. So this will kind of give you an idea of what it looks like as stacked ornaments. So you could do this just to make sure everything fits. Um, it's also good to do this so you can kind of get inspired with some choice of color. Um, this way you see it for its entirety and then you can figure out what color to go from here I do have some recommended colors listed in our project instructions. That's available with the download um, But feel free to get creative and choose your own colors So for this project I chose to use red green blue and white as my main colors um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab these paint cans and get started with the painting So feel free to use the same choice of colors as me Otherwise, you can get creative and use your own. A couple tips for painting is just use your spray paint sparingly. You could just go back and forth in a nice motion. You don't have to stay concentrated on one spot. Otherwise, what's gonna happen is you're gonna pull your paint up. Uh, it's gonna take a very long time to dry and also kind of give you inconsistent results. So just do nice, easy, controlled sprays here and there and, um, and then just wait for it to dry. So once you finish painting your ornaments, let's go ahead and begin the next step. And that's gonna to be to apply the super glue and start assembling the ornaments. I use the front layer, I flip it around, and then I just take the super glue and go ahead and give it some glue on the backside. Um, and then just place it centered on top of your back piece of the ornament. Uh, once you have it in place, go ahead and just set them to dry again. Uh, depending on what glue you use, it should be pretty fast. And then once you have it dry, we can begin uh, adding the twine so you can start hanging these ornaments. So once you have your twine prepped, go ahead and lace it through that hole. Uh, what you're gonna do is just tie a knot at the top and make sure it's nice and secure. And then you have three ornaments that are ready to hang. Well, that wraps up our video for this project. Uh, it's pretty straightforward from start to finish, but I hope that this video helped you in your process of making these ornaments. Um, if you didn't download this already, feel free to use the link down in the description below. Um, and that'll give you access to these three ornaments as free files provided by Omtech. If you have any questions with this project, feel free to let us know down below in the comments. Happy holidays.